morning, good morning. Hey, welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. You guys, we had a great time in Tucson, Arizona. It was absolutely beautiful. Tombstone. What did I say? Tucson. <laughs> Tombstone. Starts with a T here, I'm sorry. Tombstone, Arizona. It's absolutely fabulous. We were re well rested and um, we had a great time. We had great food. Yes, we did. And you guys will see those things on our blog over here. If you guys watched yesterday, we did upload that. But basically, we had a keto weekend with keto treats. So everything that we ate was perfectly keto. We had um, a salad one night that had cucumbers and a little tomato, a little onion with uh, ranch dressing. We had a, um, I guess you'd call it beef salad because it wasn't a tostada because we told them no shell. It was pulled beef with um, lettuce and onions and um, guacamole and a little bit of cheese. Harry can't eat the, oh, and tomatoes. Harry can't eat the guacamole. So I ate his guacamole. We had grilled zucchini with our steak the first night. That was absolutely delicious. And I had a couple pieces of zucchini. We also had um, Quest chocolate chip cookie one night, a Quest peanut butter cup one night. We had a few pork rinds. We had um, whiskey and soda a couple days, one, one a night or something like that. Anyway, you guys, we didn't track anything because it's hard to measure and that kind of thing, but we kept it on the that's, keto That's because Wendy menu. forgot everything. I forgot a whole bag, you guys. The bag had my jewelry in it, it had the scale in it, it had the whiteboard, it had all that stuff that was sitting by the door. I was taking stuff to the door and doing stuff and Harry was loading and Thick. I don't know if it was a Freudian slip or what, but it was here waiting for us when we got home. Thank God for the backup jewelry. Yeah, well, I just wore a ton of jewelry, and then I had to buy a couple pieces. Just a little cactus earrings. Thank yeah. you. Oh, oh, and look at my beautiful new coffee cup. So pretty. It's got a hummingbird. It's got a butterfly. Ooh. See? Pretty, 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 pretty. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Love it. And you guys, I got some pumpkin pie spice because I'm tired of waiting for Jordan Skinny Syrup Pumpkin Spice to be out. My daughter and I are going on Friday and we're going to check out TJ Maxx. One of our followers told us about it and I forgot who it was, you guys, and I'm sorry. Um, and we're going to check Home Goods. We're going to see if I can find it. But in the meantime, I just sprinkle this in and it's delicious. Isn't it, Harry? Yeah. It was yeah. absolutely delicious. Just pumpkin pie spice. It leaves a little grit in the bottom of your cup at the end, but you know what? It smells and tastes yeah. heavenly. It's good. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. So you guys. And it's cheaper, all, cheaper than $6 a freaking cup of coffee, too. That's true. Uh, yeah. You mean at uh, Starbucks. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you guys, everything we ate this weekend, everything we ate the past couple days, has a direct effect on whether or not we have water weight gain, or not, or we held, or we lost weight. But I mean, I had cheese and lettuce and cucumbers and tomatoes and onions and all the good things. It was delicious. Boy, but, does it. But it did have a direct effect on our weight. So let me share that with you guys. <gasps> yes, indeed it did. I went up two and eight tenths pound. Harry went up Eight tenths pound. Harry did. He was a good boy. You had a Joy. bite. You had a bite. And we're gonna show you my little weigh in. And mine. And Harry's. We'll show. We'll insert those right here. Yeah, so you could see them. I took mine at four o'clock in the morning while Wendy was asleep. I had to tiptoe around the room. So all you're gonna see is the scale. Scale. Base. The the amount. Okay. And me. So I did it in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it, you guys, because like I said, I have been eating carnivore and ketovore for a couple of months now, not adding any of the vegetables back. 
None of the nights. You did me. enjoy your salad, though. Yes, I, I did. Oh man, it and was mine. Good. It was delicious. I did have Harry's too. It's like, are you going to eat that? I'm going to have that. Yeah. And that was at the depot um, where we had those 14 ounce T bones, and that's another thing. We ate the meat, man. Ooh, oh yeah. It was delicious. And you guys, right before we left, I knocked over my beef tallow jar with all my beef tallow. Oh, it. she it destroyed just it. Smeared the cabinet. Right over there. So the only thing it I went have left, everywhere. I had put a little bit of beef tallow in to take with me. And this actually it's up on the side, so it's about this full. So sometime today, last night I took out beef tallow. Oh, okay, so I can good. make more yeah. beef tallow. Man, was I upset. Yeah, Woo! you. Harry was upset too. Yeah. Anyway, yesterday we went to Bash's. I've got, um, we'll share what we're going to have today, but we've got <sighs> ground round, and we're going to cook that. And then I think I'm going to want tuna, but I have to figure out the menu for today. But let's go to the big board. Let Harry do the big board here. I'll come over here and I'll trade places with him. my Harry. Let's go down here because we have no idea what we really weighed when we left. And that was on and the this road. Is what, this is what we ate. And this is what we what we ate at um, Denny's, Denny's. At Denny's. And then last And time. this is what we ate at home, which was that chicken. We just had chicken. That was yeah. it. And then there's the weight. So there's really nothing we can compare anything with today on this board. Besides the difference that we just went up. I went up eight tenths. So you used you used yeah. this number, right. which that's, is the last time we weighed. Right, it's the last time we weighed. So that's what I had to go by. To here. Right, because we had nothing right. here, because we were gone, and then that, you know. Right. Okay. Yep. So how'd you fare? Get over here. I'm, I'm, I'm filming. I'm the I'm the director right now. How do you think you did as far as um, eating? some of the zucchini and the salad and stuff how'd your stomach well, I feel it big time. yes you did especially I after mean, that I really bloated. and after that after i had that so i didn't have any more salad so i didn't have any more salad the whole time we were there that was that mexican salad we had yeah, and we both bloated and i didn't eat it and then when he wanted it at the other place I'm sure here you go <laughs> at the depot and you know and yeah it really bloated her up big time it did and made us gassy i know that's too tmi but it's the truth, you guys. Not me. Yeah. But how did you like no, the Quest? Fine, you know what my favorite thing was? Mm. That Quest peanut and butter cup. That Those really were good. dangerous. That was really good. Here. They that are, so they good. are dangerous. You guys gotta try one of those if you can. Yes. Definitely. No, if you're gonna, oh, here, let me turn it over here. If you want to treat yourself, the Quest peanut butter cups, you guys, are one net carb for the package, but you guys, the peanut butter inside tastes like a Jiffy or a Skippy's. It's that good. Mm -hmm. Nothing like Slim Fast Fat Bombs. That's Nothing why I'm kind of curious. Nothing even like Lily's chocolate. I would really they like to look delicious. into those. They really need to be looked they into. They have sucralose in them as well as uh, Stevia. But uh, they're scary good. I don't, I don't want to buy any unless I purposefully go out and get one specifically for that day. Because they're that good. Yeah. They were delicious. Yeah. So that was just a warning, warning, Will Robinson. Right. Serious. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I am working today, so I'm trying to get caught up. I am going to um, make our menu out for the day. But we're going to do much more keto war again. Uh, we are not going to, we want to get the rest of this weight off and then we would get, get back on track as far as that's concerned. So we're basically, Harry said he just wants hamburger bowls today. Yep, that's it. And I think I want tuna this afternoon. So I'm going to come back in just a little bit. I'm going to make our uh, today's menu up and share that with everybody but i hope everybody's having a great day hope you guys had a great weekend and we will see everybody in the next segment okay everybody i made our menu for today and we are going to have eggs and ground beef because we have some that has to be uh, eaten so i'm going to have two eggs uh on top of some ground beef cooked in a tablespoon of butter harry's having three eggs and four ounces of ground beef uh, with an additional 
tablespoon of beef tallow and then his eggs are gonna be cooked in butter. For dinner, I'm gonna have a five ounce can of albacore wild tuna because I'm craving tuna again. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of avocado mayo on it, a tablespoon of organic mustard, a tablespoon of dill relish, and I'm gonna cook my beef tallow tonight and I want an ounce of that suet, of that those beef cracklings, man. Beef bacon is delicious. So I gave him myself one ounce of that. Harry for dinner wants a bag of Quest chips. So I'm gonna give him one. I'm gonna put uh, five ounces of ground chuck on top of those. He's gonna have an ounce of uh, the beef suet as well. He's gonna have two tablespoons of avocado mayo, two teaspoons of organic mustard, and a teeny bit of ketchup on his. So he's gonna have a great um, ground chuck bowl. That's gonna be delicious. We both are gonna have two scoops of collagen throughout the day. And we're gonna sweeten that and put some toasted coconut almond milk in with that. And that's the Khalifa brand. And you guys, there's 45 calories to a whole eight ounce cup of that Khalifa almond milk. And we only use a couple tablespoons in a day. So I don't really worry about that. Uh, in a whole cup, there's like one gram of carbs, so it's less than a gram of carbs, and I'm not too worried about that. If there were issues, I would start weighing it. But today, I'm going to have 1% of my carbs, 3.2 grams, 69% fat for a total of 100.9 grams, 30% protein for a total of 96.5, and my total carbs are going to be a little bit higher, 1,322 calories. Harry's going to have 2% carbs total for a total of 6.9 grams. 67% is going to come from fat for a total of 118.9 grams. He's going to have 31% protein for a total of 124.4 grams. His lean body mass is 133, so he's great. He's good. And his total calories are going to be 1,608 calories. So we're going to see how he does on the Quest chips, you guys. He, we ate Quest chips. We took a few bags, and he had those on our holiday, but we don't know how they affected him and he wants to see how they affected him. So we've had two boxes, two cases just sitting back in the back pantry for several months. So we are gonna open that up and that's what he's gonna have. So you guys come back when we break our fast and we'll get our morning uh, eggs and ground beef cooked and we'll share that with everybody in just a little bit. I just got another package delivered from Biotrust. I can't remember, I was on auto ship for Zenzies and for um, collagen. So let's see what they sent me. I heard they are changing and adding to their Zenzies. And they told me that I would get one more auto delivery and then they would be changing. So this must be, this is the Zenzies. And they are reformulating their Zenzies and they're adding melatonin and a few other things to it. So this is the original flavor and uh, nutrition. So these are the magnesiums that are in there and the L-theanine. So when I get the new Zenzi, they said that they would cancel my auto ship automatically and when the new product came out, I'd get an email, they'd give me a discount and I would be able to order from it. So I'll have to share that with you guys when I get it. I love Zenzi, it works great for me. I'm excited that they're now adding um, melatonin to it because Harry and I take melatonin separately. So if they're adding melatonin to it, it'd be great because it would be less expensive. We wouldn't have to do the other melatonin too. So just wanted to share that with everybody. Ooh, that smells. Got some grease on the bottom or something. Yeah. Anyway, I got four ounces each in our little bowls. And I'm just gonna heat these up and then I'm gonna put some eggs in. The eggs just went brown butter. The butter just browned, huh, Harry? Yep. Mm -mm -mm. What kind of eggs are you using this time? Why don't you get me? I'm using the uh, cage free. Oh, those, yeah. Those yeah, are good. blue sky cake. They really are, and they're big. Yeah. These are nice eggs. 
Okay, you guys, welcome back when it is a beef bacon bowl to break our fast. Did you just pull this one out? Yes, I did. That's yours. And I put a little bit of tallow on it because you get extra tallow according to the recipe. Really? Mm hmm Oh, what am I doing? Why did I do that? It's all your fault. It is a <laughs> Pepper yep. wants some um, Byron's butt rub. Yeah. You put mine in. Excuse me. It's my left hand gets you every time. You hit the camera. Oh, goodness sakes, I hit the camera with my left arm. Spoiled the shot. And I'm left. Handed. Spoiled the shot. This is the hand. This is the hand. I have enough problems working stuff without breaking stuff. Look, you're going to have Boy, some how iodine. How true is that? You're having <laughs> iodine. Yeah. Quick, got to get the eggs because I want them. I want them. Ooh, yeah. I want them so that we can have them wet. Yeah, I want it to... Soaked down in the sauciness. Yeah. That too. Not saucy, sassy eggs. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice, man. Excuse me? Watch your face. My eggs are coming okay. through. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys. Look at this. Ooh, beef bowl with eggs and curry gold butter, you guys. Yum. Know what that means? Means you gotta smile. Means we gotta eat now. <laughs> yes, Sally. Talk to me. Come on, kid, come here. Oh, she says I'm I'm being the best puppy ever. Oh yeah. It's time to make tallow. Yes, it is. So I've got my tallow out, you guys. This is, I'm um, not tallow, I've got my fat trimmings. So these are all the fat trimmings. I'm gonna pour it in and then I'm gonna let Harry take a peek you see at these. So what these are is I go to the butcher, for those of you that are new, and ask him to give me the cuttings, the trimmings from the steak and any of the beef items that he has, you know? And so he gives me these trimmings and I'm gonna make tallow out of it. I'm gonna render this fat. So I wanna make sure these are all down in there. I want to make sure that I salt this because this will make the tallow taste delicious. I have Redmond's Real Salt. Give it a nice, generous salting of this. My salt is very fine, so it looks like I'm really salting it, but it's very, very, very fine powder. So I'm gonna put the timer on 370 and I'm gonna cook it for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna come and turn all the pieces over and cook it for longer. You don't wanna burn the pieces, you wanna melt them down and get what's left because there's just a little bit, if you guys look at this, there's a little bit of beef in with that. And if you're cooking it on the stove, again, you want to cook it in a taller pan because the fat splashes. Cover it, cook it on low, medium heat, and get the pieces small, cut them up into small pieces. So when you're all done, you've got pieces of crackling, beef crackling. Tastes just like beef bacon, you guys. Salt it, it's delicious. If the tallow is salted, it tastes like heavenly butter. Oh, it's so good. So I'm going to put this in here now, and we'll come back, you guys, when it's time to turn it, and I'll share with you guys what it looks like in 20 minutes on a low heat. 
So at 20 minutes, I took the smaller pieces out. Look at how small they got. And then I left the bigger pieces in for three more minutes. So these are. Yeah, look at these. These are the bigger yeah. pieces. And we're gonna have some of this as oh. part of our dinner. Mm mm mm. Cause it's so darn delicious. Oh, if you look. like bacon, this tastes like beef bacon, you guys. It is yummy. Yeah. Hey, you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show Harry. He's going to do the beef tallow. Because, you guys, there is tons of tallow in here. Okay. Okay, here I come. Here you come. Here I come. I remember, I remember, this is all the... This is just all the tallow we just got. From all that fat she put in there. And I didn't even render a big container. It's just beautiful. Look how clean that is, man. It is. Well, just the last little bit didn't have it a little bit. That's little great. Bit and leave that because we'll use that. That's all tallow. <coughs> kind of hold that up and share. It's got a little bit of meat in it. Yeah, it's a little bit. But of not bad. But not isn't bad. that beautiful? So you guys, free tallow, and it's delicious. If you guys salt it, huh, Harry? Here, go have a piece over there. Put that down. I know you want to have yeah. one of the littler ones because they're they're they won't well, be my hot. Fav my favorite is my favorite is the smallest one. Is it? Yeah. I like so the find a small ones. one. Like that. See that? Look at that. Now listen. Come close. Salty, mm. delicious goodness. I have to measure the rest. Just like a piece of bacon. It is. Only it's beef. But it's beef. Yeah. I mean, and it's not cured. It's got that Redmond's Real Salt on it. If you, <sighs> if you like beef, you'll love this. If you like the pieces of beef fat, it yeah. even tastes better than that. Mm. No, no. No, no. I have to measure it. Come on. I'll measure some. I'll measure some for us. Let me get a little snap plate. Because seriously, you could just... I could just eat the whole... Oh, thing. yeah. You could, you could just sit Easy. here and just, just chomp away. You know, if you like beef and you like bacon. Oh. So you want the little ones? Yeah, I'll take the little ones, man. I love the little ones. I'll take a couple of big ones, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that. You only get an ounce. That's, I know. Okay, so just give me this, those then. There you go. That's an ounce. Look at that. Oh, and that's let me get mine. An ounce. Let me get an ounce. Yeah. Yes, you get a couple pieces that have gristle in them, but you know what? Eat your fat and you'll lose your weight. That's right, you do. We seriously mean eat your fat to lose the weight. It works. It does. Oops. There we go. There, we'll save this for Brad and Lori. Don't. Lori's my sister. She's here. Okay, there we go. Hey, hold off the, the, the big plate, I guess. I've got Harry's, um, let me get the menu, five ounces of ground chuck, all measured out for him. And I'm going to nuke this real quick, but I'm going to put some seasoning on it first. So I have mustard, mayonnaise, and ketchup on it. And you include that in my... Uh... Yes, I have it all on the menu. What's for dinner? So then... What we're making you right here five ounces of ground chuck bag of quest you had your suet already it was delicious you get two tablespoons of mayonnaise you get organic mustard and ketchup cool so that's what you're getting and i'm getting a can of tuna which is right here i'm gonna have mayonnaise relish and um mustard on it so i'll share that i already have my beef as well that's tuna? 
That's tuna. That's the wild caught tuna that I shared with everybody, the can of. Oh yeah. Let me get this out. So I'm gonna put this back, I'm gonna put this one back on here. And do you know why, Harry? Because you're gonna put my chips down in a Because I'm gonna put his chips on, you guys. He's so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know the rest of the song. I just can't hide it. Yeah. I don't know the rest of the words, but I like it. Do, 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 do. Anyway, there we go. There's Harry's. All of his lovely beef. Oh, that's right. You just put, you just put condiments. Yes, on. condiments. Condiments. That I'm in the way of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A tablespoon is 14 grams, so you get 28 grams of this. I feel special. Look, 27. You're kidding. We'll just nope. leave it there. That's good. Isn't that funny? Wow. Yeah. You practice? Yes, I do. How much of that do I get? 10 grams. 30 some freaking years you know how to do a ketchup. I bag. did. I did it. There you go. There's yours. Now it's my turn. Well, I'm good to go, so I'm going to go sit down and eat. No, one. you're not good to go. I get two tablespoons, again, 28 grams. So let's see if I can do a dollop here. See if you can do it twice. Uh oh, 31. We saw that. 29. That's perfect. Yeah. You can take one. Take one. I can't see what my. I get a tablespoon of organic mustard. So that is. I'm going to put a tablespoon of dill, which is also zero calories. Yeah, there we go. 19. There we go. And then I'm going to put just a dinky winky bit of ketchup. Just to give me that little teeny bit of... Hand me my fork over there, babe. Because I don't want to get a lot. I just like a little bit to give me that little tangy cocktail sauce taste that it gives you. Yeah. I need a little bit of um, onion salt. Onion salt. And I'm going to have some dill weed. Dilly weed. Because I love it dilly. I love it. Everything dilly about it, you guys. Just a little bit of dilly weed. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I like my tuna moist and gooey and delicious and small pieces. Small bites. You need a vacation when you come back from vacation at work because you got, I have five days worth of work to get caught up with today, but I did pretty good. I was surprised. So, thank you. There we go, you guys. Beef and tuna is what for dinner. It looks good. It does, and you guys, we have to eat now. Yes, we do, because like I'm hungry. Hungry, and we have uh, my sister coming over, my mom coming over, my kids coming over, and they all want to visit. We've got to get that. We have to eat so we can visit. So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys like what you see today. If you do, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Good night, everyone.